guys, welcome back to Wonder Motion Pictures. Uh, we're just showing you the setup today. We've been filming for a solid hour and a half, so we've got the portable battery stuck to the tripod. Hayden's fixing the microphone because he's amazing and wonderful. We got duct tape, but you can't tell because that's where I hold it in the videos. And there's this laptop with audacity and a beautiful golden sunset. What kind of a better set could you ask for? Couldn't ask for a better one. What about you? If that's the camera, who's Then filming? one of my... Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching WNDR News Network, and I'm Johnny Garbanzo. Today, reporting, we have... I'm being told that we have nothing today. Boy, that's a... Uh... There are no news. Um, so... Gotta fill... Sure! I got a color here! Let's talk about that! Um, the color's Beehive, because Beehive State, I guess? Uh, good to know! This rich gold creates instant warmth and optimism. I could use some optimism right now, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, how much longer? How much longer? Okay. Um, so, do you think CeeLo Green would wear this color? Because, uh, I was looking on the internet the other day, and, uh, he wears some pretty crazy stuff. I bet he'd wear this color. Like, paint it over his entire body. Not gonna lie. I think I've seen something like that. Um, uh, you know, if you're blind, you're really missing out, because I'm not... Let me try to describe this to you. Um... To my blind audience, uh, imagine the color of the fear that bubbles up inside you when you have to improv and you've never done it before. That's this color. It's a great color. Thanks for tuning in today to the WNDR News Network uh, color commentary. Sure. Um, you can catch us here next week, hopefully with some news at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the WNDR News Network. I'm your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and today we have some... Nope, no news again? All right, cool. That's great. Uh, in foresight of this unfortunate situation, I have brought back another color sample to talk about. Today, we're going to be talking about Bamboo Shoot. Uh, good to know about Bamboo Shoot. Pair this mid-tone olive with creamy trim. And you can pair this creamy trim with any mid-tone olive, if you know what I'm saying. Ha 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 ha! Now, of course, the question arises, would CeeLo Green wear this color? Um, I'm inclined to think yes. He is, after all, named CeeLo Green, and it is a shade of green. That is a pretty easy, logical jump for me. I don't know about you folks. Um, and to my blind viewers, Imagine the color of the vomit that you have when you've been out partying just a little too late on a Sunday morning. Uh, and that's going to be it for color commentary today. Thank you so much for watching on the WNDR News Network. I am Johnny Garbanzo, and we will catch you next week at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the WNDR News Network. I am Johnny Garbanzo, and here on another episode of Color Commentary, because I'm assuming that we have no news. Am I right? I'm right. So today, the color that I brought for you is Crushed Red Pepper. Good to know about Crushed Red Pepper. Classic Oxblood is the color for study or dining. So if you're a recent Oxford graduate, and the only rooms you have in your home is a study or a dinner, then that's what you gotta get. You gotta get Crushed Red Pepper. I have to say, this doesn't look like any Crushed Red Pepper I've ever seen before. It's, uh, it's way too dark. Um, which leads me to my next question. Would CeeLo Green wear it? The answer is, of course, yes. He's an eccentric man with nobody accountable for his tastes. Uh, to my blind audience, imagine if you took a red pepper and took a bite of red pepper, but surprise, it's a green pepper. That's this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. We will see you back next week, presumably with another episode, on the same time, at the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and you'll notice that I'm looking pretty casual today. That's because today we've got a special episode of Color Commentary for you. I'm down here in southern Utah to interview one of the world's finest off-white experts, Miss Nicole Bingham. Miss Bingham? 
Hello. That's her. Today, the color that we brought for Miss Bingham to review is Hush Hush. Hush Hush, sweet and light, like pale cotton candy. Your thoughts initially? It's off-white. It's off-white, indeed. Now, Miss Bingham, we've got two segments that we like to do on the show, and the first one is, would CeeLo Green wear it? So, having seen Hush Hush, do you think CeeLo Green would wear Hush Hush? Maybe on the weekends. You heard it here first, folks. Maybe on the weekends for CeeLo. CeeLo, care to come prove us right? Leave your answer in the comment below. Now, uh, our final segment on the show, Miss Bingham, is how would you describe this color to a blind person? How would you describe this color to a blind person? It's off-white. You heard it here first, folks. It's off-white. Thank you so much for watching this very special episode of Color Commentary. The next off-white episode will be coming at you soon in the future, and our next regular episode will be next week here at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Johnny Garbanzo here at the WNDR News Network. This is another episode of Color Commentary, and the color that I brought for you this week is Sheer Pout. Sheer Pout. Complement this deep rosy tone with soft blue greens. Speaking of soft blue greens, do you think CeeLo Green would wear it? I'm inclined to say yes, because he's just such a pouty boy himself. That's the CeeLo look, my friends. Uh, to my blind viewers, imagine that you've taken a sack of potatoes and just the sack part, but then make it sadder. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. You can catch us back next week with another episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I am Johnny Garbanzo, your loyal host, and the color that I've brought for you today is called California Roll. California Roll, this green delivers a twist on neutral for large open areas. The suggested pairing color for this on the back of the card is creme fraiche, but if I had to say, I don't think a California Roll sounds very good with a British sour cream on it. <laughs> no, I do not. Now, would CeeLo Green wear this color? Yes, it's green, obviously. Next question get good now uh, we have to consider of course for the, all the blind viewers out there imagine that you've gone to a gas station and purchased an overdue expired out-of-date California roll eight pack and then you eat six of them while binging Netflix and then the feeling you have next morning is this color thank you so much for watching this episode of color commentary we will be back at you next week at the same time and on the same great channel Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another very special episode of Color Commentary here for the WNDR News Network. I'm in southern Utah, and casual Johnny Garbanzo is my name. Today, I'm joined once again by resident off-white expert, Miss Nicole Bingham. Miss Bingham? Hello. Hello from Miss Bingham. The color that I brought for you folks to review today is Faded Burlap. Faded Burlap, this mid-tone neutral dresses up casual spaces. Your first thoughts? It's quite burlap. It's quite burlap. I would have to agree. Now, of course, Miss Bingham, you're familiar with the segments after having appeared on one episode of the show, so I would ask you, would CeeLo Green wear faded burlap? No. See, I disagree. I think he would literally wear a faded burlap sack. But we'll have to leave it to the experts on that one. CeeLo, could you settle the argument for us? Now, of course, Miss Bingham, how would you describe faded burlap to a blind person in the audience? It's not white. It's not brown. It's faded burlap. An excellent description from our resident off-white expert. Truly, she is the expert. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo. This is Miss Nicole Bingham, and we will see you next week for another special episode. Actually, no. It'll be a normal episode next week, but we'll see you soon in the future for another episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I am your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and the color that I brought for you today is Clothesline Fresh. Clothesline Fresh, soft, neutral gray greens work well with cherry or mahogany. I'm honestly not sure which of those this color is meant to be. Is it a gray green? Is it a dull cherry or a light mahogany? I honestly can't tell, but I might be a little bit colorblind. Uh, so would CeeLo Green wear the color? It's light, it's wonderful, it's airy, and it complements his skin tone. That's a harsh and definite yes from me. CeeLo Green would wear clothesline fresh, especially because he is himself such a fresh boy. Now, to my blind viewers out there, imagine going out into your backyard and grabbing from the clothesline a newly dried pair of denim pants. Now, take those denim pants and how they feel against your arms and hands and make that feeling into a color and then lighten it about four shades, and that is this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. I am your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and we will be back next week for another episode at the same time and on the same great channel. 
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I am your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and the color that I've brought for you today is Botanical Bath. Botanical Bath, a beautiful chameleon, neutral for bedroom or bath. Neutral for bedroom or bath, just like me. <laughs> now, of course, the question arises, would CeeLo Green wear this color? The answer is very evident. CeeLo Green himself is a beautiful chameleon, and such, as such, he would wear this color. That's a definite yes from us back here at WNDR. Now, for my blind viewers, imagine that you've just immersed yourself in a mineral hot spring in Lava Hot Springs in Idaho, and then imagine that you're not in Idaho anymore, which makes your experience a little bit more pleasant, and that is this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. I'm Johnny Garbanzo, and you can catch us next week with another episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I am Johnny Garbanzo, your loyal host, and the color that we'll be reviewing today is Feeling Blue. Feeling Blue, this hint of a gray blue is a nice choice for ceilings. And if you've got a particularly low ceiling, you might consider moving. <laughs> now, of course, the question remains, would CeeLo Green wear this color? And I would argue that CeeLo Green has never felt blue in his life, so the answer is a resounding no from us here at the studio. To my blind viewers, imagine you're feeling blue. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. I'm Johnny Garbanzo, your loyal host, and you can catch us next week with another episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I'm Johnny Garbanzo, your loyal host, and the color that we'll be reviewing today is Brick House. Brick House, this lively red recalls traditional Chinese lacquer. Now, I don't recall ever seeing a brick house in China, but I've certainly seen one down here in the shady parts of 24th Street. <laughs> now, of course, the question remains, would CeeLo Green wear this color? And I would have to say, I think CeeLo Green would honestly wear an entire brick house if it was possible. So it's got to be a yes from me. Now, to my blind viewers, take a brick out of your house, if you can find one, and just rub it up your arm. And the color that your arm would turn, if you can imagine, that it would turn a color is this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and you can catch us next week with another episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another very special episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Casual Johnny Garbanzo, and I am joined once again by resident off whites expert, Miss Nicole Bingham. Miss Bingham? Hola. Ola for Miss Nicole Bingham, and a whole lot of color coming up for you folks today. The color that I brought for you to review is Lamb's Ear. Lamb's Ear, try brushed nickel finishes with this soft neutral. Your initial thoughts, Miss Bingham? Mary can't find it. Mary can't find it, and neither can I. It's in my hands, but that doesn't stop the joke. Now, Miss Bingham, do you think Mr. CeeLo Green, acclaimed rapper and investor millionaire mogul, would wear Lamb's Ear? With a soft touch. With a soft touch. I agree. He's got one of the softest touches in the game, after all. Now, Miss Bingham, how would you describe this color, Lamb's Ear, to a blind audience member? It's another off-white. Excellent input. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I'm casual Johnny Garbanzo, joined by off-white expert Miss Nicole Bingham, and we will see you again in another episode. But you can tune in next week for another normal episode of Color Commentary here at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I am your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and today the color that we'll be reviewing is called Hot Stone. Hot Stone, this grade mocha creates a warm, cozy retreat. I don't know about warm and cozy so much as stinging and burning because it's a stone and it's hot. Get it up! <laughs> now, of course, the question remains, would CeeLo Green wear this color? And I'd, once again, I'd honestly have to say, I think he'd wear a hot stone if he was given the opportunity. So once again, it's going to be a resounding yes from me. Uh, now, to my blind viewers, imagine that there is a hot stone, but it's not very hot to the point where it's red. It's just like almost warm, and that's this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, your loyal host, and you can catch us next week with another episode of Color Commentary at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another very special episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Casual Johnny Garbanzo, your loyal host, here today with resident off-white expert and overall very charming lady, Miss Nicole Bingham. Miss Bingham? Hello. Hello from Miss Bingham and hello from me. The color that I brought for you to review today is currently sitting over on that chair. Let me grab it for you. 
It's called Riesling. Riesling, this warm neutral sets the stage for bold accents. Your initial thoughts? Is it a type of bird? It is not a type of bird. It's a color sample. Now, Miss uh, Miss Bingham, would CeeLo Green wear Riesling? If he was feeling wild. I think that CeeLo Green feels wild every day. So it's going to be an affirmative yes from our resident off-white expert, Miss Nicole Bingham. Now, Miss Bingham, how would you describe Riesling to a blind audience member? It's not a bird. That's an excellent and astute observation from our off-whites expert. Truly, she is top of her field. Thank you so much for watching this special episode of Color Commentary. We will be back at you in a future episode, but for now, next week, you can expect another regular episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I am your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and the color that I brought for you today is Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon, nautical blue is ideal for seafarers and landlubbers. Well, this landlubber has to say is that Blue Lagoon puts me over the moon. <laughs> now, of course, the question remains, would CeeLo Green wear this color? And I'd have to say, looking at it, it would complement him very nicely. CeeLo, you'd look wonderful in Blue Lagoon. To my blind viewers, imagine that you've just been buried in a swampy marsh and that you're clawing for air. The air is blue and it, you are in a blue lagoon. That's essentially what this color is and I don't have any more jokes for this episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I am Johnny Garbanzo and we can catch you and you can catch us next week here at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here at the Special Southern Utah Exposé Center. I'm with resident off-white Nicole Bingham expert, and I'm your host, casual Johnny Garbanzo. Garbanzo? Hola. Hola from Miss Bingham. Today, the color that I brought for you and Miss Bingham to review is Goodnight Kiss. Goodnight Kiss, a soft blue-tinged pink. Very soothing. Your thoughts? Goodnight Moon? Good night, moon. Good night, kiss. Now, Miss Bingham, do you think that CeeLo Green would wear good night kiss? On his birthday. On his birthday is a great day for a good night kiss, if you ask me. How would you describe this to a blind audience member? Kiss good night. Easy answer. Tune in next time for another episode of Color Commentary here at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I am Johnny Garbanzo, your loyal host, and today's color that we'll be reviewing is macadamia nut. Macadamia nut, almost caramel, this works well with deeper colors. I'd also say it works well with white chocolate chips, if you know what I mean. <laughs> now, of course, the question remains, would CeeLo Green wear this color? And unfortunately, CeeLo Green has a deathly allergy to tree nuts, so unfortunately, he will not be able to wear this color. But I do think he would look well in it. I love you, CeeLo. To my blind viewers, imagine that you've taken a white chocolate chip and a macadamia nut, smashed them together into some kind of unholy combination of delightfulness and goodness, and eaten it for yourself. The warmth that rests in the bottom of your stomach after you've eaten the whole batch of 24 cookies is what this color is. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. I'm Johnny Garbanzo, your loyal host, and you can catch us next week with a new episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I'm your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and the color that we'll be reviewing today is Pretzel Twist. Pretzel Twist. Clay browns add warmth to large family spaces. It also adds warmth to large family gatherings as your kids pig out and then fall asleep so that you can have an enjoyable evening. Now, of course, the question remains, would CeeLo Green wear this color? I believe that CeeLo himself is a bit of a pretzel twist, and so he'd be a little bit offended at wearing this color on himself. I'm going to have to say no, but it's the softest no, because truly, CeeLo Green is an eccentric billionaire who can do whatever he wants. Now, of course, the question, blind viewers, what does this color look like? Well, it looks like a pretzel, but a just overdone pretzel. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and we can catch you here next week at the same time and on the same great channel. 
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I'm your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and today's color that we'll be reviewing is Sun Valley. Sun Valley, this butterscotch is lovely with vanilla accents. You know what else is lovely with vanilla accents? A cafe latte. <laughs> now, of course, the question remains, would CeeLo Green wear this color? Well, the color is named for a place in Idaho, and I don't think CeeLo Green is base enough to go to Idaho ever. And he would never even consider touching himself with a color so named after such a state so boring. So the answer is going to be a hard no. But CeeLo, you're free to come down any time and change my mind. Now, to my blind viewers, imagine that you're in Idaho and you're disappointed. That's what this color is. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I'm Johnny Garbanzo, and we can catch you here next week for another episode of Color Commentary here at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I'm your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and today the color that I've brought for you is eucalyptus leaf. Eucalyptus leaf. This gray green works perfectly with espresso. And koala bears. That's why I'm going slow. Now, of course, the question remains. Would CeeLo Green wear this color? It's green. The answer is yes. Now, of course, blind viewers, imagine that you are a koala bear. You're scaling a tree. You fall. You black out. You see green. It's this green. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. Sorry for the bad koala bit, and there are many more to come that are like it. We can catch you next week here at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I'm your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and today the color we'll be looking at is Chimney Stone. Chimney Stone, a perfect neutral accent to spice tones, which means that Chimney Stone is to spice tones as English men are to spice girls. <laughs> now, of course, the question remains, would CeeLo Green wear this color? And I have to say, once again, I, little, I sincerely believe that CeeLo Green would wear an entire chimney if presented the opportunity. But would he wear a single stone? No. CeeLo goes all in or he goes all out. That's how he is. He's a mogul. Deal with it. Now, to my blind viewers, imagine that it's Christmas night. You're skimmering down a chimney because you're one of Santa's little helpers for the evening, and you get covered in soot. The feeling of that soot as it grates in between the little spaces in between your fingers is this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. You can catch us back here next week with another episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I am your loyal host, Johnny Appleseed, and today the color that we'll be reviewing is Gold Seal. Gold Seal, rich ochre tones pair nicely with creamy white trim, almost like the kiss from a rose. <laughs> now, of course, would CeeLo Green wear this color? Well, it's obvious that it's a yes. I've got to say, CeeLo will wear anything that's gold. Just Google CeeLo Green Gold and you'll see what I'm talking about. He'd wear it, that's for sure. To my blind viewers, imagine that you've just gotten a denial acceptance letter from Harvard, as in you have not gotten into Harvard. The color of the seal of the wax on the stamp of the envelope is this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I'm your loyal host, Johnny Appleseed Cranberry Bottom, and today and next week, you can catch us here at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Special Color Commentary here at the Southern Utah Exposé Center. I'm your loyal host, Casual Johnny Garbanzo, and I'm joined once again by our resident off-white expert, Miss Nicole Bingham. Miss Bingham? Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, we've had to move our setup due to the fact that I'm rapidly losing daylight, just like in my other ones, and I can't afford studio lighting. The color that I brought for you folks to review today is Fresh Cotton, and I can't read the bag. <laughs> This slightly peach-toned off-white loves spicy hues. Your thoughts? Is it cotton picking season yet? No, ma'am, it is not. Now, uh, Miss Bingham, you're well acquainted with the show at this point, so I have to ask, would CeeLo Green wear fresh cotton? In the spring. Fresh cotton in the spring, fresh cotton when he sings, fresh cotton for the boy who can do everything. CeeLo Green is a master ma mastermind, if you ask me myself. Now, of course, how would you describe fresh cotton to a blind viewer? It's cotton. 
She's darn right, folks. It's cotton. I'm wearing it. It's phenomenal. Take that feeling, picture it in your mind, and that's what you've got. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here at the Southern Utah Expose Center with our resident off-white expert, Nicole Bingham. I am your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and you can catch us next week for another episode of the Color Commentary <laughs> at the same time and at the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I am your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and the color I've brought for you today is Cypress Point. Cypress Point, choose this yellow-tinted deep green for impact. Would CeeLo Green wear this color? Uh, another question for you. Is CeeLo Green one of the most impactful artists of our generation? The answer is obviously yes. And so would he wear the color? The answer, again, is obviously yes. Now, to my blind viewers, in order to describe this uh, color for you, I need you to picture yourself being driven up the top of a tall mountain up to a make-out point by your high school crush, who is only going to remain your high school crush for about another two weeks. You pull off to the side. The color of the tree that blocks your amazing view is this color, and you happen to have driven to Cyber. Press point. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. I'm Johnny Garbanzo, and you can catch us here next week at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. Johnny Garbanzo is off this week on his mandatory six-month, one-week work break contract, so I, Tommy Morgan, the producer at Wonder News Network, have to fill in for a spot for a week. So today we're gonna to do a special episode. The color that I brought for you, or pardon, the colors, that's right, it's a special episode, so we're doing more than one color. The colors that I brought for you are, ooh, inhale and sigh. This is called the breath of life episode. And today what we're going to do is teach you how to breathe well and breathe properly. Today we're going to bring you in on a guided meditation tour of your own respiration. First, inhale to add pale elegance, then sigh as pale as a cloud and just as quiet. Watch as our teachers do the same. Even if it feels like you can't go on, just inhale, sigh, and everything will be better tomorrow. Thank you for watching this special episode of Color Commentary. Johnny will be back next week with another normal episode, at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I'm your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and the color that I've brought for you today is parchment gold. Parchment gold, this mid-tone camel creates warmth in any room. It's suggested that you pair parchment gold with string of pearls on the back of the card, but that would just make you look like a rich and arrogant person, so I would suggest otherwise. <laughs> now, of course, the question does not remain, would CeeLo wear this, because it's gold. Google CeeLo green gold and see what I'm talking about. He would wear the color. Now to my blind viewers, imagine that this time you've got an acceptance letter into Harvard and instead of deciding to print it on normal paper like normal people, they've decided you're special enough to have it written and inscribed in a sheet of gold. That is the color of this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo and we will see you here next week at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I'm your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and today the color that we'll be looking at is Tranquility. Tranquility, add punch to neutrals with up the lifting sea green. This uplifting sea green, if you'll pardon my speech and slander. Now, I've got to know, do you think CeeLo Green would wear this color? Because on the one hand, he adds punch to every track he joins, but on the other hand, he's not tranquil. He's always active, always on that grind, and always on that hustle. So leave your opinion in the comments below this video. Now to my blind viewers, imagine that you've just finished a meditation in a sauna for the past 456 days, and you've been on a retreat, and you don't know what day it is. You're so tranquil because you've ascended past the human concepts of stress, time, and anxiety. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. You can catch us back here next week at the same time and on the same great channel. 
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I'm your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and the color that I brought for you today is bamboo reed. Bamboo reed! This unexpected woodsy hue loves natural cottons. You know what else loves natural cottons? Me in a fine, fresh Hanes white cotton fit t-shirt. <laughs> now, of course, the question remains, would CeeLo Green wear this color in one of our most popular bits? I would say that bamboo reed is a color for CeeLo because he is always unexpected and rarely Woodsy. So it's about a 50-50. Let us know your opinion in the comments below this video. To my blind viewers, imagine that a tiny panda bear has just sat down to eat its first meal and it slowly rolls off of the hill into the riverbank. The color of the fear of its mother is the color of this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I'm your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and you can catch us back here next week at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I am your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and the color that I've brought for you today is pistachio ice. Pistachio ice, this charming chameleon can change as the light changes, just like my ex-wife. <laughs> Anyways, back on to our next and seg scheduled segment. My bad, pardon me, excuse me, holy moly, wowzerinos. Uh, would CeeLo Green wear this color? Well, first of all, it's a delightful shade of green, and we've established pretty well that CeeLo Green would wear greens in a law of nature that seems unavoidable. It's also aided by the fact that CeeLo, too, is a charming chameleon. Now, to my blind viewers, imagine that you've just gone out at Lagoon or your own sort of Southern California amusement park that cannot be named for fear of copyright infringement, and you've purchased a dessert that you can't tell the taste of. That's this taste. This taste is this color, and that's the color of this color. Thank Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. We'll be right back at you next week with another episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another special episode of Color Commentary here at the Southern Utah Exposé Center for WNDR News Network. My name is Casual Johnny Garbanzo, and I'm joined here with our resident off-white expert, Miss Nicole Bingham. Miss Bingham? Konnichiwa. Konichiwa, and I konichi want you to see today's color. Today's color is crisp linen, and because I'm staring into a flash now that it's night, I have to bring it close to read it. Crisp linen. This slightly cool off-white works with most colors. Your initial thoughts? It probably looks good with the sheets. It probably looks good with the sheets, just like a couple of other folks that I know. Now, of course, I have a question for you, Miss Bingham. Would CeeLo Green wear this color? Maybe to bed. Maybe to bed. I'm sure he goes there often. Now, of course, Miss Bingham, how would you describe uh, crisp linen, crisp linen, by the way, to our blind viewers? A sharp cotton. Picture a sharp cotton, and you've got fresh linen, crisp linen, crisp linen, a crisp cotton. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. You can catch us back for another special episode soon, but next week you'll probably be joined by just me in a regular episode of Color Commentary here at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, your loyal host, and today the color that I've brought for you is Pine Bark. Pine Bark, this rich, earthy brown, pairs nicely with blue greens, just like me and my ex-wife. <laughs> now, of course, the question remains, would CeeLo Green wear this color? Well, considering the fact that he is himself a rich, earthy brown, I would consider the answer to be yes, but leave your opinions in the comments below. Now, uh, to my blind viewers, imagine that the dog outside that your neighbors just bought won't stop barking as it scratches up their nice, wonderful tree. That tree is the color of your fear and desperation and, and, and the hope that you will just have one more good night's sleep. Please! That's this color. That, and that color is the color of this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. On the WNDR News Network, I'm Johnny Garbanzo, who hasn't had a good night of sleep in the past two days, and I'm ready to kill my... Er, mm, mm, and we'll catch you next week here at the same time and on the same great channel. Come on. <coughs> there we go. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, casual Johnny Garbanzo, that is, and I'm joined today by our resident off-whites expert, Miss Nicole Bingham. Miss Bingham? Good night. Good night and good morning from us here at WNDR News Network. Today, the color that I brought for you folks to review is Foggy Mirror. Foggy Mirror, this shy violet is subtle and feminine. 
Initial thoughts, Miss Bingham. Is it a sexist shower? It is a sexist shower. Now, of course, speaking of sexist showers, what do you think CeeLo Green would do with this color? Not sure. Maybe a towel color. CeeLo Green would wear Foggy Mirror as a towel color. That's input from the experts, folks. You do well to remember it. Now, of course, Miss Bingham, how would you describe this color to our blind audience? You ever seen a foggy mirror? Probably not, but it looks like one. She's very right, folks. Thank you for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, as per the norm, and this was Ben, our resident off-white expert, Miss Nicole Bingham. You can catch us next week for another episode of Color Commentary here at the WNDR News Network at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I am Johnny Garbanzo, your loyal host, and today the color that I've brought for you is Jade. Jade, pair this garden fresh green with colorful floral patterns. Would CeeLo Green wear this jade color? Well, if you Google CeeLo Green colorful floral patterns, you're going to see something absolutely incredible, so I'll leave that one to discover for you. Post your findings in the comments below the video. Now, to my, to my blind viewers, I would suggest in order to accurately picture this color, take yourself back to high school and remember the girl who was really obsessed with social issues and is altogether far too jaded for her age. Her uh, general attitude and impression of you is this color. And and that's the color of this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I am Johnny Garbanzo, and you can catch us here next week at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and I'm your loyal host. Today, the color that I brought for you is Leather Chair. Leather Chair. Deep earthen browns can go glam or casual, just like me at my ex-wife's old family reunion. <laughs> now, of course, the question remains, would CeeLo Green wear this color? The answer is no, but he would sit in it. And again, to my blind viewers, I would suggest in order to picture this color more accurately, you should really consider the feeling that your dad gets when he sits down after Thanksgiving dinner in the Lazy Boy and dozes off. And that is this color, and that's the color of this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network, and we will catch you next week with another episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I'm your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and today the color that I've brought for you is Metro Mist. Metro Mist, cool gray greens complement brushed nickel finishes. You know what else complements a brushed nickel finish? A brushed penny finish. <laughs> now, of course, the question remains, would CeeLo Green wear this color? And I would have to say, he himself being a cool gray green, himself being named CeeLo Green, I am fairly certain that he would wear this color. It's also got a green tint, so it just fits perfectly, and it would complement his wonderful, deep, earthy skin tone amazingly. CeeLo, come show me I'm right. Now, to my blind viewers, if you were to consider this color, I want you to consider you're walking through New York on a fine, nice day, but with the smog of China, but still the smell of New York. And the color that you're feeling on your inside, like way down deep in your lower intestines, is this color, and that's the color of this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. Today, I'm Johnny Garbanzo, and next week, you can catch us here at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here at the Southern Utah Expose Center for W News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and I'm here with our resident off-white expert, Miss Nicole Bingham. Miss Bingham? Hello. Hello and goodbye. Today, the color that we brought for you today is Down Comforter. Down Comforter. This ivory hue on ceilings and trim warms up the room. Your initial thoughts on Down Comforter? <clears throat> it's warm with comfort. It's warm with comfort. Now, Miss Bingham, you're well acquainted with the show, so you should be able to tell me, should CeeLo Green consider wearing this color? If he's down for comfort. I think he's down for comfort, that's for sure. Leave your opinion on whether CeeLo is down for comfort in the comments below. We will read all of them, I assure you. Now, Miss Bingham, how would you describe down comforter to our blind audience? It's comfortable, and it's down. So think about a comfortable down, and you'll be right on track for thinking of the color of this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. We will be back at you next week with another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and this has been Mr. Nicole Bingham. You can catch this show back again next week at the same time and on the same great channel. 
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo. I'm your loyal host, and today the color that I've brought for you is dried mint. Dried mint, this fresh green delivers a new attitude. The attitude that it delivers is one that is fairly dry. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. The question, of course, remains, would CeeLo Green wear this color? Absolutely not. CeeLo Green already has the greatest attitude and therefore does not need a shakeup. Dried mint, more like dry not meant for CeeLo Green. To my uh to my 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 thank you for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I am Johnny Garbanzo, that is for sure. I am Johnny Garbanzo, and we will see you next week for this episode at the same time and on the same Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I'm Johnny Garbanzo, back from a one-week hiatus, and today the color that I brought for you is Butcher Block. Butcher Block, versatile camel, goes well with modern or traditional decor. You know who else goes well modern or traditional? That's right, it's CeeLo Green, and this color would be beautiful on him, don't you think? Leave your opinions in the comment section below this video, and then we'll move on to the blind viewers segment, which is honestly one of the most ridiculous segments I've ever thought up, ever. Anyways, imagine the feeling of being a lamb on the tiny block. Oh, what's. Is that real news? Anyway, imagine the feeling of tiny being a tiny lamb on a giant block of wood with an axe just a little ways around from your neck, and the feeling that you feel is this brown. I can't believe there's actually things happening behind us. I haven't seen news in forever. Thanks for watching this episode of Color Commentary, I guess. Now that we're not reporting the real news, I don't care! <laughs> we'll be back next week, same time, same great channel! <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the... Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and I am your loyal host. The color that I brought for you today is flaxseed. Flaxseed, for a classic look, pair this light khaki with navy. You know who else pairs a light khaki well with navy? Anybody, because it looks good on anybody. Would it look good on CeeLo Green, you may be asking? Hey, does it look good on CeeLo? Well, first of all, everything looks good on CeeLo. But second of all, of course it would look good on CeeLo. He'd pair it with a navy and make it somehow new and fresh because he's an innovator and a mogul. Deal with it. Now to my blind viewers, I want you to consider that you're in an argument with your significant other about whether flaxseed is supposed to be one word or two. And what you're going to do is go over to the computer and type it into Google. And when Google proves you wrong, this brown is the feeling of brown that your disappointment is as it boils up from below you and emits into rage later. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. We will catch you back here with another episode next week at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and I'm your loyal host. Today, the color that I brought for you today is Rich Mahogany. Rich Mahogany, earthy browns are family room favorites. I've got to say, this color is not one of my favorites, but do you know who might find it his favorite? CeeLo Green, because he's an innovator and a mogul, and he's truly unpredictable. Should he wear it? Not in my opinion, but does that matter? No, because he'll do what he wants. He's impressive and amazing, and I want him. Anyway, to my blind viewers, I want you to consider that you've just stepped into your first YouTuber's mansion. I want you to think about a YouTuber who started in 2006, and then got really big somehow, and then got really cocky, and I want you to walk into the mansion and the first piece of wood that you see is this color and it's so fine and you run your hand over it and they kick you out. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo as usual and this has been Color Commentary. We'll catch you here next week on the same time and at the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. As always, I'm your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and today the color that I brought for you is Thunderstorm. I'm just noticing the clouds rolling in, and it's only a little bit ominous. 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 <laughs> Thunderstorm. Gray toned uh, tops are rich backdrops for colorful patterns. And I am a rich colorful pattern after all. We've got people pulling up. It's great. Who are the... Oh, it's great. It's great. Ugh, they ruined it. They ruined, they ruined everything. They've ruined everything. Here's the life lesson for this episode because I don't want to do Thunderstorm again. Your friends will ruin everything if they want to, and it's, you just have to take it again. 
See you next week for the next episode at the same time and on the same great channel. I don't have time to reshoot. Gall. I'm wearing my church socks. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I'm your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and today the color that I've brought for you is Jasper Stone. Jasper Stone, oil rubbed bronze? <laughs> oil rubbed bronze complements this rich spice shade. <laughs> you know who else is an oil rubbed bronze? <laughs> CeeLo Green. <laughs> I'd like to be an oil rubbed bronze. Uh, <laughs> to my blind viewers, uh, consider oil rubbed bronze. Next week, same great time, same channel. Gall, this is a joke. This is a joke. I can't stay, but thanks for the money. Love you. Bye. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, as always, and today the color that I brought for you is Cracked Pepper. Cracked Pepper. Use inky black for high contrast accents. You know what else is a high contrast accent? This one that I just switched into flawlessly. Ah, 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 ah. Would CeeLo Green wear this color? The answer is yes. Black makes anyone look good, but it especially makes CeeLo look good because of his already stunning physique and features. Now, to my blind viewers, you don't have to do much imagining to get this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and you can catch us here next week for another episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here at the Southern Utah Expose Center for WNDR News Network. My name is Casual Johnny Garbanzo, and I'm joined again with our by our wonderful, amazing, incredible off-white expert, Miss Nicole Bingham. Miss Bingham? Good evening. Good evening, indeed. It's always great to be down here with you, Miss Bingham. You too. Aw, thanks. Today, the color that we've got for you is stuck in my pocket again, but the color is Snowcap White. Snowcap White. This tinted off-white works with blues, purples, and greens. Miss Bingham, your initial thoughts on Snowcap White? It's probably nice in Utah. It is rather nice in Utah, especially with winter coming around the season. I don't know when this episode is scheduled to go up, but right now it's almost winter. But we're in St. George, so snow is nowhere to be found. Now, Miss Bingham, you should be able to tell me, would CeeLo Green wear this color? On vacation. On vacation. Probably the St. George, no? Obviously. Obviously. Now, of course, Miss Bingham, how would you describe Snowcap White to our blind audience? You haven't seen snow, but it's a cap of it on the mountain. That's a very valid point. I'd like to also add, consider the color that you're already familiar with and then think of the opposite, and this is Snowcap White. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. This has been a special episode. We don't know when the next one will be, but we do know that you'll have another episode next week at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, as usual, and today the color that I've brought for you to review is Dark Truffle. Dark Truffle, create coziness with this dark plum accent. Now, of course, the question remains, would CeeLo Green wear this color? The answer, of course, being yes, because CeeLo Green is himself a rather nice dark truffle. To my blind viewers, you remember the color last time? Not last time, but the time before last time where I said you don't have to do much imagining? We'll take that not much imagining and make it just a little browner. And that's what this color is. That's the color of this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and you can catch us here for another episode next week at the same time and on the same great channel. Ah! <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, as usual, your loyal host, and today the color that I brought for you is... Lemongrass! Lemongrass! This yellowed green complements warm brown, and boy, was I about to make a warm brown right there. Uh, would CeeLo Green wear this color? Well, I consider him a warm brown himself, so I would have to say yes, he would wear it. It's also a shade of green, meaning that the universe would be satiated. Just for now, just for now, just for now. To my blind viewers, I want you to consider the color that you feel of fear and anticipation as you're about to climb a mountain, but it's a very scary mountain. Now take that, make 
make it green and add a little lemon spritzer on top and you've got this color and that's the color of this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo as always and next week you can catch us for another episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here with us and Dennis and Johnny Garbanzo. Color got for you today is Color Spring Tanko, Spring Tanko, Tanko Green, Brad Nice, Kurt White. You know who else is Kurt White? Chris Brown, Kurt Brown, Teal Green, Teal Green, it's green, of course it's green, it's green, you wear it, it's green. Uh, Kurt White, Brown, Kurt Brown, Teal Green, it's Teal Green, it's green, of course it's green, it's green, you wear it, it's green. No, my blame viewers are watching you consider it, it's really offensive and it's actually kind of, kind of ridiculous. Well, it's going to be green, it's just like last week, but it's not like the same as last week, otherwise it's going to be a different color, so of course it's got to be. That's the color, that's the color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here. Here's WNDR most of the next version and I want you to know is my name I want to die inside but the color next, next week, week same, same time same, same great channel, channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I'm back after a week-long hiatus, and today I'm bringing you this color from Johnny Garbanzo. The color is Cinnamon Roll. Cinnamon Roll. This matted brown pairs perfectly with Ivory Trim. So Cinnamon Roll is to Ivory Trim as real Cinnamon Rolls are to my belly. <laughs> now, of course, the question remains, would CeeLo Green wear this color? And I would have to give that an emphatic yes, because he is himself a wonderful, beautiful, small, too perfect, too innocent for this world Cinnamon Roll. Now, I have to ask, to my blind viewers, have you ever eaten a cinnamon roll? Because if you haven't, there's no way you're going to guess this color. I'll give you a hint. It's brown. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, as per the norm, and you can catch us again, as per the norm, next week at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and I'm your loyal host. The color that I brought for you today is Bubbling Fountain. Bubbling Fountain, pair this blue with soft, buttery accents. You know what else pairs well with a soft, buttery accent? A beautiful croissant. <laughs> now, of course, the question remains, would CeeLo Green wear this color? And I have to say that although he likely has many very large, very designer, very wonderful bubbling fountains outside of his beautiful so Cal Mansion, CeeLo Green does not seem like the type to indulge in wetting himself. And so I'm going to have to say no to Bubbling Fountain, but I would love it if he would prove me wrong down in the comments below or in person. Please, CeeLo, I love you. Now, of course, to my blind viewers, I want you to consider the beautiful, tranquil sounds of a river running down into the forest. Now imagine that mankind has harnessed that into some kind of perverted, mixed-up way in which it's a fountain that goes never-endingly without any influence of nature at all. And that's this color, and that's the color of this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and you can catch us again next week for a new episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I'm Johnny Garbanzo, and I'm feeling a little stressed, and today the color that I've brought because I need to get paid is cucumber peel. Cucumber peel, almost neutral. This subdued green says relax. You know who else said relax? My ex-wife! Ah! 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 <laughs> relaxed. You'd wear the color. <laughs> blind, put, put some cucumbers over your eyes. Feel how it feels. You'll still be blind, but it's kind of how this looks. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <sighs> Next week, same time, same channel, if I'm still around. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Casual Johnny Garbanzo, and I am joined once again by our resident off-white expert, Miss Nicole Bingham. Miss Bingham? Hello. Hello and hello. Today, the color that we brought for Miss Bingham and for you to review is Pillow Talk. Mm. Pillow Talk. This clean yellow tint revitalizes and invigorates. I really can't read after looking at the flash. Anyways, initial thoughts about uh, Pillow Talk. Those aren't clean sheets. Yikers. If it's yellow, you gotta send it away -o. Uh Now, Miss Bingham, do you think that CeeLo Green would wear Pillow Talk? Possibly. Elabor Elaborate. Uh, maybe it's his sheets. Yikes. CeeLo, you better get clean in your sheets, bud. 
you're going to have a bad time with the ladies. Now, Miss Bingham, how would you describe Pillow Talk to our blind audience? It's an off-white pillow. That's not the only off-white thing that's going to be happening on y'all's pillows. And if you think about the feeling you got when I just said that and make it a little bit brighter, that's the color that you're feeling right now. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Gabranza, and we'll be joined by our resident off-white expert, Miss Nicole Bingham, once again for a special episode. We don't know when we'll get you the next special episode, but we do know that we'll get you a new episode of Color Commentary next week at the same time and on the same great channel. I fold. Welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Tommy Morgan and I'm filling in for Johnny Garbanzo on his second six-month, one-week work break. Uh, and so today we're going to do another special episode. Isn't that going to be great? Today, the episode that I have for you is the happy hour episode. We are alcohol-themed today. We've got Sangria Red. We've got Apple Tini. And we've got wine glass. The premise of today's video is that we are going to get super drunk. <sighs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary. <laughs> the WNDR News Network. I am, of course, as always, Johnny Garbanzo, your loyal to a fault host, and today the color that I brought for you is Peaceful Slumber. Peaceful Slumber, a perfect calming blue, can diffuse stress, and boy, if I couldn't use that. You know who wouldn't use this, though? <sighs> Chilo Green. Because he's never stressed. He, he has nothing to worry about but being a mogul. And that's got to be great, don't you think? Anyway, um, to my blind viewers, <clears throat> Ugh. Got that morning taste in my mouth. Uh, it just go to sleep. It's this color. <clears throat> God, thanks for watching this episode of Color Commentary. Season 2, it's been a year. Wow, wow. Yeah, I need to sleep. Wow. And we will catch you here next time. Same time, same great channel for another episode. Same time, same great channel. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another fully energized episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and I'm well-rested and peaceful after a terrible, terrible night. Today, the color that I brought for you is shit... <sighs> Beep Take. Beep Take, a soft gray-green for quiet spaces and home offices. Uh, I don't think that kind of language has any space in the home. CeeLo would not agree. He says words like that often, and so I believe that the color Beep Take would be great for him. Now, um, I apologize for the forced beeps, by the way. I'm running out of budget here. We're working on it. It's... It's a work in progress. To my blind viewers, you know that color you're really well acquainted with? Make it a little bit green and a little bit more gray, and that's what this color is. Boop Take, the only Take that you want for your beep. Uh, thank you so much for watching this terribly forced and awful episode of Color Commentary. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. You'll catch us next week at the same time and on the same great channel, hopefully with a better color. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is, as always, Johnny Garbanzo, and today the color that I brought for you to review is Birdsong Blue. Birdsong Blue, this blue-green looks fresh paired with soft yellow, like a young canary in a tree on the breeze. <whistles> CeeLo Green would wear this color. He's a big fan of songs, he's a big fan of birds, and he would look amazing in this blue. To all of my blind folks, imagine the sound of that bird song that I just played, but played backwards and slightly demonically, and then turn it blue, and that's the color of this color. Thank you so much for the episode of watching this color commentary episode. I am Johnny Garbanzo, and you can catch us back here next week at the same time and on the same great channel. I can't afford another retake. 
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and today the color that I have brought for you to review is Fresh Bread. Fresh Bread, this smooth gold, adds warmth to any room, and the color suggests that we pair it with creme fraiche. But once again, I really don't think sour cream on bread is going to do anybody any favors. <laughs> well, now the question remains, would CeeLo Green wear this color? I'm going to have to say no. Living the kind of gangster lifestyle that he does, I doubt that he has the time to to sit down and make a full outfit out of nice fresh loaves of bread. So I'm going to have to go with no, but I'd love for him to prove me wrong. Now to all of my blind viewers, I want you to understand that the beautiful scent and smell of fresh bread as it comes out of the oven is the exact color of this color. You have to understand that to enjoy the basic things in life, and I hope that I've helped you help it out. Thank you for watching this color of it. Next week, same time, same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. And my name is Johnny Garbanzo, and today the color that I have brought for you to review is Weather Vane, or number 222222. Good to know about 222222. This sophisticated deep gray works well with pale yellow. Pale yellow is something I don't know the hexadecimal for, but I know that this gray would be 222222. Would CeeLo Green wear this color? No, it's too basic. Any color with a hexadecimal that's all one character is too little, too late for CeeLo Green. And I would also like to point out to my blind viewers, you should be well acquainted with this color. Just lighten what you normally see just a little bit. Two, 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 two. Thank you so much for what, 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 watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR new, 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 new news network. I'm Johnny Garbanzo, and you can catch us next week for another episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, your loyal host, and today the color that I brought for you to review is Midnight Fog. Midnight Fog, steely blue-gray, is subtly dramatic. You know what else is subtly dramatic? The wonderful beats behind many of CeeLo Green's number one pop hits, and I love them much mostly because of this subtly dramatic hit. Would he wear the color? No. Probably not. But his songs are good. Anyways, to my blind folks, I want you to picture that you're out walking in the middle of a beautiful L.A. Avenue when suddenly you were encroached and encroached upon by a gigantic, mystical, almost otherworldly fog. This color is that color, obviously. Midnight fog, did it not ring a bell? Obviously not. You've never seen fog. Thank you so much for this color commentary episode for watching it, and I will be back at you with another episode next week at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network with your host, it's me, your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo. Today, the color that I brought for you is Peach Preserves. Peach Preserves, beautiful terracotta, a perfect partner with creamy trim. Peach Preserves is to creamy trim as real live peaches are to real live cream, if you can believe it. Now, I know that normally we talk about CeeLo Green, but I know that acclaimed rapper Snoop Doggy Dog or Snoop Lion or Snoop Dogg has a song called uh, Peaches and Cream, and so we're going to talk about would Snoop Dogg wear this. The answer is, I don't know. I don't know, Snoop. Would you wear it? Let me know. Hit me up, bro. To my blind folks out there, imagine that you've just been out harvesting in a gigantic, enormous field of peach trees, and what you're going to do is take all of those wonderful, beautiful harvests of nature and cram them into tiny little glass jars with sugary, watered-down versions of themselves to be stored for time and all eternity as they rot away because you never eat them. You maybe use them for a pie once, but you've still got 800 jars of peach preserves. What are you going to do with them? You leave them to your kids, 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 and they rot forever. Thank you for watching this episode of Color Commentary. If you'd liked it, you could subscribe. I just want to throw that out there. We've got a channel and it's bustling now. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next week with another episode of Color Commentary here at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and I'm joined once again by our resident off-white expert, Miss Nicole Bingham. Miss Bingham, hello. Hello. How are we? Just fine. Are you sure? Doing great. Good, I'm glad. Today, the color that I brought for you is called Satchet. Satchet. Classic lavender is feminine without being flirty. Sounds like they're taking everything good out of being feminine. Your thoughts? Sounds like the literary classic Hatchet. Jinkies. She's got a point. Anyway, Miss, uh, Miss Bingham, do you think that uh, Satchet is a color that would be worn by Mr. CeeLo Green? 
beautiful and flirty. I think that's the opposite of this color, Miss Bingham. That's the point. Ah, CeeLo, always an innovator. I like it. It's a nice touch. You can see why she's the expert. Now, Miss Bingham, how would you describe Satchet to a blind audience member? Read the book Hatchet. Read the book Hatchet to learn to describe Satchet, and if you love color commentary, then the feels, and you'll catch it. Thank you so much for watching this special episode of Color Commentary. We will be back at you next week with another episode. It may not be special, but it'll certainly be there at the same time and at the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. The sun is fading, and so am I. I'm Johnny Garbanzo, and the color that I brought for you today is Juniper Breeze. Juniper Breeze, soft gray-green, creates a natural, restful space. You know what else is a natural, restful space? The city of Cedar City, or as I like to call it, the city of Juniper Junction. Because you know, none of the trees down there are actually cedars. They're all junipers. They shouldn't have called it Cedar City. They should have called it Juniper Junction. Obviously, what were they thinking? Oh my goodness. Anyways, do you think CeeLo Green would wear this color? Uh, yeah, it's a green. We've well established that at this point. He would wear the green because he is CeeLo Green, and he's an eccentric, acclimated, mogul millionaire, and he can do whatever he wants. If it's a joke he wants to make, it's a joke he wants to make. And the rest of the world can deal with it, honestly. To my blind folks, I want you to consider that you've just walked up to a giant juniper tree, which you don't know what it looks like, but you're probably allergic to it. The snot that you spit out onto the tree is this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here at the WNDR in Motion News Network. Uh, today, we are doing another episode next week because I will be absent. Uh, thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. We'll be back at you next week with the same time and at the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and the color that I brought for you today is sunbaked. Sunbaked. Clear peach tones are warm and romantic. Do you know what isn't warm and romantic? The fact that the government is controlling my mind. Their radiation waves are the reasons I can never get my outro right, and the reason why my producer in the back is wearing a tinfoil beanie. Now, of course, would CeeLo Green wear this color? He may not wear the color, but he may turn the color as a result of the government radiation coming out at him. Everybody experiences it, but nobody seems to notice. I'm the only one who notices. Please send help. Please send help. Please send help. To my blind folks, you don't have to worry about this because the government isn't worried about controlling you guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the W Motion Pictures Animation News Network. And today, I am really confused. Same time, same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, your loyal host as always, and today the color that I have brought is Gentle Moss. Gentle Moss, this full-bodied olive loves a touch of black. Just run with that joke for yourselves. Uh, do you think CeeLo Green would wear this color? One, it's a green, so yes, but two, he would love to give it a touch of black, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. To my blind folks out there, you don't have to worry about this one either. Just imagine a nice calm martini as a full-bodied olive walks up and passes it across the bar. <laughs> this show's a joke. Holy moly. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and I will be seeing you next week on our next episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and today the color that I brought for you to review is Tea Light, or as my producer called it, Threatening Sand. Threatening Sand, plenty of color, but not too bright, lovely and mellow. Lovely and mellow or lovely and threatening, more at six. Now, of course, the question is, would CeeLo Green wear this color? And I have to say, his beats are often lovely and mellow, and so I would have to be inclined to say he would wear this color. Now, to all my blind folks out there, I want you to picture the that you're sitting at the beach having a grand old time in the beautiful northern california beaches when all of a sudden the sand begins to conglomerate into a giant threatening sand monster the color of your fear is this color thank you so much for watching this episode of color commentary here on the wndr news network my name is johnny garbanzo i don't know how i still have this job and i would like to thank you for watching once again you can catch us next week on our next episode at the same time and at the same great channel Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, your loyal host, and today... <gasps>
The color that I brought for you to review today is Sleek Gray. Sleek Gray, a blue-gray is a quiet color for the reading spaces. The reading spaces. Sponsored by Sleek Gray. Would CeeLo Green wear this color? I would have to say I don't feel like CeeLo Green has very many reading spaces. His entire time is divested in creating wonderful and musical beats and lyrics and advancing our music industry. So I don't think he has much time for a reading space. So I'd have to say no, he wouldn't wear the color, but I'd love for him to prove me wrong as per the norm. Let me know your opinion in the comments below. For my blind folks out there, I want you to consider that color you're really familiar with and then tone it down way far and then add in a little bit of blue and that's this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo and you are watching Color Commentary. You'll catch us next week at our next episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another... Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and the color that I brought for you to review today is Prickly Pear. Prickly Pear, this modern green, pairs well with bright patterns. You know what else pairs well with bright patterns? I don't know, airplanes? You know, those people who, like, who like wave them down in a pattern? That's the first thing I thought of today, and this entire show is improv in one takes. Did you know that? I hope that you knew that at this point. Would CeeLo Green wear this color? It's green. Yes, he would. Blind people, imagine green. Thank you for watching Color Commentary. We'll be back next week with another episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, your loyal host, and today the color that I brought for you to review is Soft Sunlight. Soft Sunlight, buttery yellows are charming and optimistic. Just like me, every time I realize I can do anything other than this godforsaken show. Now, um, I want you to think, would CeeLo Green wear something soft? Absolutely. Would he wear something beautiful and wonderful and effervescent as the sunlight? Absolutely. So that question that you were asking to yourself and that you thought I was going to ask pretty much answers itself don't you think? To my blind folks out there, I want you to consider again that you're sitting on the bottom of the beautiful Chesapeake Bay, and as you're lying on the sand trying to get tan, even though you don't know why because you can't tell the difference, you just really feel that sunlight, just, just the sunlight particles are just, they're just, they're just there. And it's wonderful. And that's this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. I'm your host, Johnny Garbanzo, and you can catch us next week at our new episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, your loyal host, and today the color that I brought for you is Sweet Serenity, and I pulled that out way too early. <coughs> But who cares? This favorite works well with peach or rose accents, just so you know that's Sweet Serenity. I would say that Sweet Serenity is a favorite of a lot of people because who likes stress? What a dumb description of a color. Would CeeLo Green wear Sweet Serenity? Well, he currently lives in Sweet Serenity, so I don't think he needs any more. But I'm sure he would. He's a mogul, investor, billionaire. I'm sure he'd do it. He's a wild card. I don't know, CeeLo. Let me know. Let's get in touch. Uh, to my blind folks, I want you to picture the feeling that you had when you first realized that other people could see and then came to terms with your blindness. And that sweet serenity that you felt is the sweet serenity that this color is. Thank you for watching this episode of Color Commentary, and we will catch you next week with a new episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Oh, I don't want to have to... I mean, if it gets too dark, we just turn on the flash. Yeah, like a nighttime... Like a nighttime reporter. Exactly. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another special episode of Color Commentary here at the Southern Utah Expose Center. My name is Casual Johnny Garbanzo, and I'm joined once again by our resident off-white expert, Miss Nicole Bingham. Miss Bingham, it's a lovely evening, yes? Good morning. No. Good evening. Good evening, indeed. She's the expert, folks, but it is nighttime. The day, the color that I brought for you to review is String of Pearls. String of Pearls. A fresh white warms woodwork and ceilings. It warms the woodwork and the ceilings. Your thoughts, Miss Bingham? Probably warms Audrey Hepburn's heart. Ah, or just the area right below her neck where her pearls drape. Would CeeLo Green wear String of Pearls? Maybe while watching Breakfast at Tiffany's. I like to think that CeeLo Green actually owns an enormous string of pearls and is keeping it concealed from us. Your thoughts? Possible. I'm thinking like the largest string of pearls. Still possible. I agree. Now, would you describe this to a blind audience member for us, Miss Bingham? Give Audrey Hepburn's neck a feel and you're close enough. Who, mama. 
Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and today we brought you a special episode. Next week it may not be special, but it'll certainly be a new episode of Color Commentary here at the same time and on the same great channel. Were we getting shaky, boys? I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> I think you're good. That was an awful joke. Yeah, it was a little bit, but that's okay. Ah. Uh, because I'm the one who gave it to you. I'm not proud. <laughs> Thirteen. Say, Feel up her neck. I love no! that. I love that. Hearth, Perth, Mirth. Worth, Mirth. Girth, Perth. Johnny Appleseed. Worth, Perth. Hearth. Color, Hearth. Hearth. Hearth, a little bit mocha, a little bit hot coca, delicious. Hearth, mirth, coca, mocha, hoka, hearth, worth, kerth. CeeLo Green, CeeLo Grirth. Blind Grirth, Perth, Blurth. Episode of Color Commentary. Next time, same great earth, wonderful place, same great boys. Okay, we're going to count that. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. After a brief week-long hiatus, I am here and back, and I am Johnny Garbanzo, and the color that I brought for you today is camo green, but I, it seems to have gone. Camo green was supposed to be the color for today, but I, I don't think it's showing up on the... Well, I guess... I mean, if I could see it, I could tell you if CeeLo would wear it. I, this must be how it feels to be blind. Huh. Interesting. Thanks for watching this insightful episode of Color Commentary. We'll be back at you with the next episode real week. Next week, same time, same great channel. That was so strange. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo. As usual, I'm your loyal host. And today, the color that I brought for you to review is Clamshell. Clamshell, calm down the day with this drink. Well, green. And once again, the card is suggesting that we pair Clamshell with Creme Fraiche. I don't understand the obsession of these cards with suggesting the pairing of Creme Fraiche. Because who wants sour cream on a clam? No one. No one wants that. Gal. Anyways, the color is a shade of green. Even though I can't tell that it's a shade of green, the color says that it is. So CeeLo would wear it, I'm sure. Blind folks, um, go touch a clam. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. We will catch you next week with another episode at the same time and at the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here for the WNDR News Network. Reporting from the void of space, it's your loyal host, Johnny Garbanzo, and I'm here once again with our resident off-whites expert, Miss Nicole Bingham. Miss Bingham, space pretty cool, huh? It's out of this world. It's out of this world, just like this color that we're about to bring to you. Boom! Lip balm. Lip balm. Hushed pink is quaint and quietly romantic. Your, initial, your initial thoughts about lip balm. Keeps away those chappy chaps. Keeps away those chappy chaps. We don't want no cowboys. Am I right? Sure. Because they were chaps. Right. Do you think that joke will ring with the audience? If they're from the West. What if they're not from the West? If they're a cowboy? Well, everyone's west of somewhere, folks, because there are no cowboys anymore. They're all dead. They're all dead to me at the least. Now, uh, would CeeLo Green wear lip balm? If he was chapped or on Accutane. I'm sorry, what? Or on Accutane. Or on Accutane. I moved the mic too quickly, which lets you know how professional I am. I know that I personally am wearing some lip balm right now. CeeLo? Anyways, how would you describe this color to a blind audience member? You ever worn lip balm? It's a color. Wow. You heard it here first, folks. Expert analysis. Thank you for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, joined by the ever-lovely and efficacious Miss Nicole Bingham. You can catch us next week for another regular episode of... Same time, same great channel. 
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo. As always, I'm your loyal host, and the color that I brought for you today is Graham Cracker Crust. Graham Cracker Crust. Pair this hue with deep purple for an unexpected combination. You know what else was unexpected was this accent I just found myself slipping into. I suppose to find a good Graham Cracker Crust, you got to go down south for it, if you know what I'm talking about. Or you can go to any Utah person's funeral for any kind of pie that anybody's ever made. It'll be a Graham Cracker Crust, and you will not be disappointed. Any Anyway, I'd like to know if my good old homeboy from down south, CeeLo Green, who lives in Florida on the off days, would think about this Graham Cracker Crust character color. I'm not sure it would suit him, but of course he might just make a suit out of it if it doesn't suit him, because then it would suit him if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, uh, to all you blind folks out there, I really don't understand this insensitive joke as an alternative persona that you should have catched on to by now. I really don't get the fact that I keep making blind person jokes, and I've made almost uh, 74 of them at this point it's kind of bonkers that i'm allowed to get away with this at this point anyways thank you so much for watching this episode of color commentary and you can catch us back next week at the same time and on the same great channel Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and the color that I brought for you to review today is Patina Blue. Patina Blue, this versatile blue-green is wicker-worthy or mahogany right. That is literally nonsense. Read this. This versatile blue-green is wicker-worthy or mahogany right. That is literal nonsense. Who writes these? I want their job. I don't want this job. I want their job. Oh, I'm pissed now. F CeeLo, man. I'm pissed. I want that job. I could just write nothing all day. It's like a fortune cookie writer, but like, or like a producer. No, I didn't, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Next week, same time, same great channel. I'm gonna go try to call myself because I just read the dumbest thing that's ever been written. <clears throat> what I like is it's gonna sound like this. Just read this thing. Why? I have no idea. But you can pretend you're in a hurricane. <laughs> what part is that? The end. Oh, man, that sucks. Do we need more tape, maybe? I don't know. Just hold it harder. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and we are at the WNDR News Network. I've never misplaced that order before, but I'm going to start doing it now because the government is back on their brainwaves. Today, the color that I brought for you to review is Golden Sunset. Golden Sunset, this curry tone creates energy in living areas. I just so happen to be seeing a beautiful Golden Sunset right now that looks nothing like this color, but you don't get to see it because I have a fixed camera stand. Ha! Would CeeLo Green wear this color? Now, of course, it's golden, so the answer is yes. Google CeeLo Green Gold if you don't believe me. Now, of course, to you blind folks, you've never seen a beautiful, wonderful sunset, of course. That's obviously the case because you can't see. But what you need to understand is that sunsets are not just a sight thing. They're really just a concept that's beautiful and intrinsic to the human soul and the earthly nature soul. It's all about your soul. So what other color the shoals of your shoes are are this color. And wow, I botched that. But it's okay because we're one take wonders because we're on a tight budget and little time. So thank you for watching this episode of Color Commentary, bad as it was. And I hope to see you next time for another episode at the next week on the same time and at the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and today we are talking about the color Harvest. Harvest, this classic gold tone is often found in patterned area... Re Wait, Harvest, Harvest. My Garbanzos! Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. Now, we've sent Mr. Garbanzo on his mandated six-month, one-week work break, so today I, Tommy Morgan, am filling in for his spot. Today, the color that we've brought for you is creme brulee. But that's not all. Because Johnny's gone, we're turning this into a special episode. You know the drill by now. The second color that we brought for you to review today is creme fraiche. These two colors are great, they both have the word creme in them, as in creme being the French word for cream. So today, instead of doing a normal episode, of course, we're going to do a special episode. And the special episode for today is a taste test. So what I have got for you today are the 
pumpkin spice creme brulee, seasonal fall item from Cafe Zupa's, and light sour cream from Winco. Because we can't get creme fraiche here in the United States, at least not at the stores that I looked at. So we're gonna be doing a taste test today, and we're gonna start with the creme brulee, all right? I've heard great things about this creme brulee from the employees. I used to work at Cafe Zupa's, so I know that the seasonal food items are often delightful. So um, let's just dig right into this really quick. Caramel's got a good texture on top and that is good. See if we can't dig a little deeper and get a little bit of the, uh, the creme. I'd have to say that the color matches quite well with the actual color. Got a little whipped cream in there. That is absolutely delightful. Holy moly. Mmm. Mmm. That is some good stuff right there. Mmm. All gone. <laughs> I would give that pumpkin creme brulee six creme brulees out of seven. I'd give it a perfect seven, but it's just not fruity enough for me. Now, of course, onto the uh, pièce de résistance. We have some light sour cream, and you can see I haven't used it for a little while, so there's a little bit of liquid on there. So we're just gonna mix it all together really quick, get it into a consistency that we like. Just take a look at that. Oh, that's good stuff right there. It's a good thing I like sour cream. And we are just going to take a nice big... <clears throat> I love that. Oh, it's a good thing I like sour cream. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Hmm. You know how they eat weird stuff on like Good Mythical Morning all the time? I don't know how they do that, man. This is crazy. Mm. 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 Let's chew that card down. Oh yeah. Oh man. Ooh, sour cream's good, but not by itself. Wow. Obviously. In case you needed me to tell you. Uh, all gone. I would give this uh, three creams out of seven. Uh, it's still pretty good. Uh, secret insider tip, by the way, if you take strawberries, coat them in sour cream, and then dip them in brown sugar, it's absolutely divine. That is going to do it for today's episode of Color Commentary. We did creme brulee and creme fraiche, and of the two, I would say that I definitely preferred the, uh... <coughs> <coughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to tune in next week for another episode of Color Commentary here on the same time and at the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on WNDR News Network. In the waning hours of the day, my name is Johnny Garbanzo, and today the color that I brought for you to review is Cool Springs. Hey, thanks. Cool Springs. Thanks, man. This mid-tone blue has a hint of violet. Would CeeLo Green wear this color? Well, it does say cool in the name, and CeeLo Green is nothing if not cool. In fact, you can't spell cool without CeeLo. Now, uh, to all of my blind folks, do you remember the feeling when you pulled out Super Mario Galaxy for the first time, and you collected the spring mushroom in that one galaxy, and that feeling inside of you was like kind of doubtful, but also kind of hopeful, and you were like, oh, this is cool, I guess. That's this color. That's the color of this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. We'll be right back at you with another episode next week. I'm Johnny Garbanzo, and you can catch us next week at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and I work for WNDR News Network and the Veterans Affairs. Today, the color that we brought for you is weathered canvas. 
This classic neutral makes large spaces cozier. Do you know what large space it didn't make cozier? The jungles of Nam. That's right, I was there. And this is the color of my uniform, because it was literally made of weathered canvas. It was weathered because it rained every day, and all it did was tear through our hearts, our clothes, and our spirits. And I tell you what, back in Nam, you. <coughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Color Commentary. My voice wasn't enough to hold out the bit, but I hope you enjoyed it while it lasted. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back on next week at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and the color that I brought for you to review today is Stormy Cove. Stormy Cove, this soft, subtle blue-gray works well with ivory. You know what doesn't work well with ivory? Poachers. Would CeeLo Green wear this color? I have to ask. Um, he's not very stormy, and if I had to think of Cove, I would not think of Johnny Garbanzo, much less CeeLo Green. Did you see the mental trip that I had there? That was the government modifying my brainwaves. But they won't get me this time. No, they will not. No, they will not. No, they will not. Now, of course, to all of my blind folks out there, the government is who made you blind. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. And I will see you next week at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary, this time on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and today the color that we'll be reviewing for you is stuck in my pocket, but it's also called glass tile. Glass tile, create a sanctuary with this modern color. You know what else is made of glass tile? The glass ceiling. Ha! Huh. Now, of course, would CeeLo Green wear this color? I think he'd literally wear glass tile. It's a lot like, you know, other colors that we've covered here, like brick house and chimney stone, don't you think? Yeah, he's giving me an approving nod. I, I think that everybody at this point has come to accept that CeeLo Green is the male and black version of Lady Gaga. He'll wear whatever, he'll do whatever, as long as he's comfortable in his own skin and making some moolah off of it, he will do it. He's part of the one funding the brainwave. I'M SO MAD! <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here at the WNDR News Network. Reporting once again from the void of space, I am your loyal host, casual Johnny Garbanzo. I haven't been wearing the glasses the whole time. Did you need them? You're casual, you don't have the glasses. <laughs> you don't need the glasses. I'm in contact lenses. That's the explanation. I'm wearing contact lenses. Holy moly. I brought the glasses too. Of course. <sighs> Sugar and cream. This ivory yellow works well with bright patterns. Your thoughts? Great thoughts. CeeLo would wear it because it's sweet like him. Uh, blind people take a big old bite, just a whole tablespoon of white sugar. That's this color. Care to disagree? Not one smidge. I'm gonna kill myself. Thanks for watching. New episode next week. We'll see you next time. My contact's broke. I'll have glasses next time we're in space. Bye bye Good afternoon, bros and broettes, and welcome back to another jamming episode of Color Commentary on the WNDR News Network. My name's Johnny Garbanzo's twin brother, Lonnie Garbanzo, and I've been surfing for four years, but I'm also a twin and wearing the same outfit. Today we got a radical color for you, bro. It's Paradise Blue, which is actually where I came from. Paradise Blue, a restful hue for a room with northern exposure. I haven't heard of any northern exposure lately because I've been searching the Sam Hill beaches of Texas. But I do want you to know that I just went southern for no reason and that this bit is dumb. God, why am I bad? Uh Anyway, bros, if you're blind, that kind of sucks. Thanks for watching. Come on out, CeeLo. Come watch an episode live sometime. I'd love to shake hands and bump fists with you, bro. It's going to be great. Come back next week. Uh, Johnny will be back. He just had to take some time off to get some stuff together. Uh, we'll see you next week. What's he say? Same time, same great channel. Peace out.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, back after a week-long hiatus, and I'd like to throw out a very special thank you to my brother Lonnie for covering for me last week as I got some family affairs in order. Much loose news, my ex-wife gone. And today's color... Soothing aloe. It's what I needed and it's what I got. Pale airy green creates a bath inspired by nature. You want to take a bath inspired by nature? Go out to a river, you homo. Wow! What did I say? We actually should probably cut that take. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and I'd like to give a special shout-out to my brother Lonnie for covering for me last week as I took care of some family business. In other news, my ex-wife is gone. She's just gone. Today, the color that I brought for you to review is called Soothing Aloe. Soothing Aloe. Pale, airy green creates a bath inspired by nature. You want to take a bath inspired by nature? Go sit in a rivo, you idiot. A rivo. A river. Gall. My roasts aren't even good today. Uh, don't worry, I'll get everything in order by the next week's episode. Would CeeLo Green wear this color? I don't know, if you're a long-time watcher, you can answer this question already. Go ahead and go do it in the comments below. For those of you who are new, the answer is yes. It's a green, he's CeeLo Green. It just makes sense, obviously. Now, of course, blind folks, I've got to attempt to describe this to you because I realize I haven't been doing a good job of that these past couple episodes. So, imagine that you're sitting in a river like some kind of idiot, and you start to feel the moss on the rocks beneath your bottom. The moss is the slippery part, and the color of that moss is just a shade darker than what this color is. So whatever you imagine it to be is pretty much this, but just a little bit darker. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and I am signing off for this week. We'll catch you next week with another episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here at the WNDR News Network. My name is Star Bright, your loyal host, and the color that I brought for you today is Johnny Garbanzo. Johnny Garbanzo, pastel yellows are cheerful in any season. Well, if you have to ask me, Garbanzos aren't very cheerful at any time unless they're in a hummus. <laughs> now, of course, the question, would CeeLo Green wear this color? I would have to say that Johnny Garbanzo isn't exactly a very flattering shade for Mr. CeeLo, but he can do what he wants because he's a billionaire investment mogul who does whatever he wants because he's a maverick and he doesn't play by your rules. Obviously, you should know that at this point. You want to talk about Star Bright? Let's talk about the sun right now because, whoo, holy moly, hasn't been like that in a little bit. Uh, anyways, to the blind folks, I want you to imagine that you can see and it's this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. We'll be right back at you next week with a new episode at the same time and at the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary today. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and I'm back from last week's hiatus that I didn't tell you about. Today, the color that I brought for you to review is called Careless Whisper. Careless Whisper, create a quiet, subtle effect with this dusty, soft tone. You know what else is a quiet, subtle effect? Not a saxophone, that's for sure. Ha, huh, I just foreshadowed. Uh, so CeeLo Green, do you think he'd wear a Careless Whisper? I think he would. It's, it's smooth and it's sleek and it's just right up his alley for a color. Blind people, this is actually a color I can really well describe to you and I'm going to do it right now. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. My name is Johnny Garbanzo and we'll be right back at you next week with another new episode at the same time and at the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, your loyal host, and the color that I brought for you today is called Garden Gate. Garden Gate, this Loden shade, has an understated masculine feel. I've never heard the words Loden and masculine used in the same sentence before, so this is real news. Watching this episode of Color Commentary that isn't done, and right in the middle, CeeLo Green would wear it, it's a green, blind people, I'm currently blind so I feel your pain because the sun is setting and I'm rapidly running out of time to shoot the rest of these episodes. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary that is now at the end. You may continue to watch until the very, very end though. We'll be right back next week at the same time and at the same great channel. Wink. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and the government brainwaves that were making me be able to see without my glasses have ceased. I'm here in the void of space with our resident expert on off-white colors, Miss Nicole Bingham. Miss Bingham, good morning, good night, good hellos. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello to the color that we brought for you to review today. Today, the color is Dove's Cry. Dove's Cry. 
Classic neutral plus bright white trim equals sophistication. Your thoughts on this complicated equation? Sounds like a Stephen King novel. Care to elaborate? No. All righty. Welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary. We're in the middle of the episode, and I just noticed something out of the corner of my eye I'm not going to talk about. Would CeeLo Green wear this color? Sure. And how would you describe it to a blind audience member? Think of a dove crying. <coughs> yeah. Thanks for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. We've got a special episode for you today that you're watching. Next week probably won't be special, but it will be there on an episode. And see you next time on this episode of Color Commentary. God, why am I bad at this? I've done this like a hundred times. <laughs> I'm not going to redo it. We'll see you back next week at the same time and on the same great channel, baby. Good Dab night. on the haters. That was the first time I've ever done that on camera. <laughs> <laughs>
a baking stone, he would take a baking stone and several more and install them in his $7,000 trillion mansion in the northwest upreaches of Canada where he's too far away from anyone to ever be disturbed. Now, of course, blind people, in order to consider the feeling of a baking stone, you know a nice warm pizza? Like a really, just a really good pizza that you're eating one day. Imagine the thing that had to be cooked on to taste that good, and that is this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and we will be back at you next week with another fine hit, tune-hitting, hard-hitting episode of Color Commentary at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. Reporting from the void, it's me, your host, Johnny Garbanzo, and today I've got with me our resident off-white color expert, Miss Nicole Bingham. Miss Bingham, how are you today? Pretty good. Even though we're in the void? Doing just fine. Isn't that wonderful? Out of this world. Wonderful. Literally. Today we've brought another color for you to review. That color for you right now is Cool Sheets. Cool Sheets. Ah! Cool Sheets. Airy blue maximizes light in a small room. Your thoughts? Pretty small. Pretty small indeed. Now, uh, Miss Bingham, your professional opinion, would CeeLo Green wear this color? If he was cool. He is pretty cool. He's got the sheets. He's got the sheets. He's got the color. Is that a yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You heard it here first, folks. And now, Miss Bingham, if you could describe this color to our blind audience, how would you describe it? It's pretty cool, and it's in the sheets. Mm-mm. Thank you for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. For reporting from the void, it's me, Johnny Garbanzo, and I've been with our resident off-white color expert, Miss Nicole Bingham. You watched a special episode today, and next week you'll catch another episode of Color Commentary here at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and the color that I brought for you to review today is called Pink Chocolate. Pink Chocolate, pair this pale rosy mocha with a pink-tinted off-white. That's so many descriptive color words in one sentence, it almost sounds like a gay pride parade. Now, today, we asked, would CeeLo Green wear this color? And my answer is probably not. Pink Chocolate sounds a little bit more up Nicki Minaj's alley, if you know what I'm saying. Now, to blind people, I want you to consider that you're eating a nice, delicious Hershey's chocolate bar, but then also consider that you're doing it in a room that's gender neutral, but not gender neutral in the way that you'd expect. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. Today, I can contemplate life, and next week, we've got another episode coming for it right at you at the same time and on the same great channel. How do you do, y'all? Welcome out to another episode of Carolina Skies Color Commentary with me, your host, Carolina Skies. I'm Carolina Skies, and today the color that I've got for you to review, because I've been asked by my wonderful ex-husband, who I love, is called Carolina Skies. Well, how nice. He's still thinking of me. Oh, man. Mimic nature's palette with a clear sky blue. Oh, he writes the most amazing things, don't you think? Oh. So it says here I'm supposed to ask whether y'all think that CeeLo Green would wear this color or not. I personally couldn't care less about CeeLo Green. He's awful. I've never liked a single one of his songs. It also says I'm supposed to ask about blind people, but, like, I don't care for blind people. Ah. Anyways, I'm just glad to have been here. I want you to know that I hijacked this. He's currently locked in that room over there. Uh, don't, just come find him. He'll be back in about a week. I think he says same time, same great channel. It'll be around the same time when they find him. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here, reporting from the void for the WNDR News Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo, and I'm here again with our off-white color expert, Miss Nicole Bingham. Miss Bingham, the void? It's still dark. Whoa! We're out of this. We're out of this world. We made that joke before, and I wasn't going to let her finish. Today, the color that I brought for you folks to review is called Luxury Linen. Luxury Linen. This neutral lover's neutral pairs well with naturals. So, for this natural neutral, would you say that this is a natural neutral's natural? In luxury. In linen. Would CeeLo Green wear a luxury linen? I'd be inclined to say yes, because he's a rather luxurious person. He is, after all, a millionaire investor mogul who uh, redefines the world of hip-hop every day. Your thoughts? I concur. CeeLo would wear it? Indeed. I can see that point of view. <laughs> I've seen better. Yeah, I understand. If you could describe luxury linen to our viewers uh, who could not actually see it, how would you do it? 
CeeLo Green wears it. Okay, but what's new? This literal, we've had 104 episodes is what this is going to be, and it's all about CeeLo Green. You're going to have to be a little bit more specific. <clears throat> it's in luxury. It's linen. There you have it. Luxury linen, more like luxury living. Thanks for watching this episode of Color Commentary. You can catch us again next week. It won't be a special episode, but it will be another episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary. Here reporting from the void, I am your host, casual Johnny Garbanzo. Unfortunately, we are lacking our off-white specialist. She's been taken by the government. I'm not sure where, but she will be back, hopefully, for our final couple of episodes. Today, though, the color that I brought for you is English Elegance. Luckily, not an off-white, and due to an error in judgment, we actually missed it in our regular filming. So we'll cover it here today. English Elegance. This shy pink is subtle and feminine. You know who isn't subtle and feminine? CeeLo Green. Is this a color for CeeLo Green? I would have to say no, but I'd love it if CeeLo Green could come and prove me wrong here in the void. Join me CeeLo, it'd be one void of a time. Now to my blind viewers, if you were to consider English elegance, consider that you're walking down to Buckingham Palace. You're walking up the stairs and the color that your toe turns when you stub it on the top step as you're walking up to meet the queen is this color. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR Network. My name is Johnny Garbanzo and you can catch another episode of this special from the void episode hopefully later or soon but you can definitely catch another episode of color commentary here on the next week at the same time and at the same great channel good afternoon ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another episode of color commentary here with the real Johnny Garbanzo doing a real episode of color commentary for WNDR News Network I apologize for last week I was very rudely hijacked by a person who I thought was gone she was not as evidenced as earlier. Today the color that I brought to review for you for real, loofah. Loofah, the color of wheat perfect for casual rooms. Again, I just want to know who writes these. That is the most nonsensical thing I've ever heard. Now, to talk about the coolest rapper ever who makes the most wonderful music and is not lame or boring or terrible as your previous host Mayo said so, uh, CeeLo Green uses loofahs and would wear them, honestly, so it would not put me past to see him wear this color. Now, of course, to my wonderful blind audience who I care about very much and would never abandon, just go take a shower and use a loofah and you'll get the color. Thank you so much for watching this real episode of Color Commentary. We'll be back next week with another real episode now that she's really gone, and we will see you next week at the same time at the same great channel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here with me, your host, Johnny Garbanzo, for the WNDR News Network. Today, the color that I brought for you to review is called Midnight Bayou, and look at how deep and beautiful it is. Oh my goodness. Midnight Bayou, a perennial favorite, creates drama for traditional decor. Hey, if I want to talk about drama, I could talk about Rob Kardashian. <laughs> I used that joke before. Yes, I realize, but I am also on a very low budget and a very low time budget, so we're working with what we got. Now, do you think CeeLo Green would wear this color? I think anybody could wear this color and it would look good. This color is honestly just beautiful. In natural light, in sunlight, in midnight, it doesn't matter. It's gonna look good, especially when surrounded by midnight fog at that episode a million years ago. Now, to my blind folks, I want you to take that color with which you're really well acquainted and darken it a couple shades of blue, and that's essentially what this Midnight Bayou is. So instead of Midnight by you, it's uh, Midnight Blue by you. Hey, get it? Because you, cause you do it in your mind because you can't see. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary, y'all. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll be right back at you next week with another new episode at the same time and on the same great channel. Do one where you start with the microphone in your pocket and you're holding the color in your hand. Yeah. Cashmere pink. This is the last one. Sweet. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Color Commentary here on the WNDR News Network. Like the sun is slowly setting on our faces, the sun is slowly setting on my program as my two-year contract is slowly coming to an end. We've only got a couple more episodes left, and unfortunately, this is my last episode reporting to you from here in front of the beautiful Ogden Temple. So we're going to make it count. Today, the color that I brought for you to review is one of the beautiful colors that I have. It's called Cashmere Pink. Cashmere Pink. Black accents add contrast to this ballet pink. 
I believe that a black accent would make anything look good, but I doubly believe it about this beautiful, wonderful ballet pink. Now, of course, the question remains, would CeeLo Green wear this color? I believe that, honestly, this segment was kind of silly, and I thought about it off the cuff when they started not having me have news. Remember way back in the first episode when I was a real news reporter, and they just didn't have any news for me? Well, look at where we've got, and it's just amazing, and it's incredible, and honestly, CeeLo would wear anything, so all of my answers are just bad. But I'd love to know your input in the comments below. Um, blind folks, this joke also came off the cuff, and it's a little bit more risky, but thank you for watching along with me as I describe it. In order to get the feel of cashmere pink, which actually looks yellow in this light, honestly, you have to really see it in the shade to see the pink. Anyways, cashmere pink is one of those beautiful colors that you can sense in the beautiful vibrancy of your soul every time you feel love towards another human person. That's this color. I think it's wonderful. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Color Commentary. We've got two more episodes for you. One more is an off-white special, and the last one is the final 24-month special of Color Commentary. So, signing off from this here parking garage rooftop, I am Johnny Garbanzo, and you've been watching Color Commentary. We will catch you next week at the same time and on the same great channel, but from there, who knows? Thank you so much for watching, and this is Johnny Garbanzo signing off from the rooftop. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to what is possibly the final episode of Color Commentary here, reporting from the void for WNDR News Network. I am casual Johnny Garbanzo, your loyal host, and I'm once again joined by the newly returned off-white color specialist, Miss Nicole Bingham. Miss Bingham, how are you? Still in the void. Still in the void, indeed. Something seems a little bit different about you, Miss Bingham. I don't see what you mean. Do you not? Nope. Well, neither can our blind audience. Anyway, today we've got another color for you to review. The color is called Dogwood Petal. Dogwood Petal. Strong, dramatic colors love this slightly grayed white. You know who else would love this slightly grayed white? Possibly CeeLo Green. I think the exact same thing. Do you think he would wear it, folks? Because I sure do. What about you, Miss Bingham? Green for go. Green for go and a white for the green. That's exactly what we like to say. Now, Miss Bingham, if you could have a chance to describe Dogwood Petal to our blind audience, our blind viewers, what would you say to them to get them to picture the color more accurately in their minds? The dog's petal. Down the lane. Down the lane. Really, I feel like there's something different about you. Nope, not a thing. Not a thing? Nope. Not one single thing. Are we sure? Positive. Positive. 100%. Are we sure? Yep. Crumpets. Bagels. Crumpets. Crumpets. Fish and chips. Yes. Crisps. I'm not sure what you mean. Interesting. Thank you for watching this final episode of Color Commentary from the Void. Uh, we have been having a wonderful time in the Void, have we not? Out of this world. I don't know how many times we used that joke, but I hope it didn't die yet, because it's about to die. Because this is the last episode of Special Color Commentary. You'll have another normal episode next week, and then the final special will be two weeks from today. Same time, same great channel. This is Johnny Garbanzo and Mr. Cole Bingham signing off from the void. See ya. Peace. <laughs> Peace. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the fourth special episode of Color Commentary here on its two-year anniversary. Isn't that crazy? Holy moly. This program has been going on for two years, and I couldn't be any happier for it. Or for our wonderful host, Johnny Garbanzo, who is, of course, as with every special episode, on a six-month, one-week work contract vacation that we allow him to take. Now... We're going to do something special for you today because it's the two-year anniversary. We're going to do the biggest color commentary episode ever done. Not just one color. No, not just two. Nay, not even just three, but four individual colors here on the Beyond the Sea episode. Today, the colors that we've got are Sea Marsh, Sea Sage, Sea Scape, and Sea Salt Blue. Pretty clever name, huh? Let me just play the little... You'll get it after the... Beyond the sea. And so on and so forth, you know? It's pretty, it's pretty great. Now, um, we're going to start with sea salt blue. Sea salt blue, calm the morning... Ru 
Is that? Mm. I thought I silenced. Talk to me, baby. The police? Oh well, yes, that's who you are. Johnny Garbanzo? Our host? On I-85? A car accident? Possibly fatal? I need to come right away? Not even hesitating? Even if I'm in the middle of an episode of Color Commentary? That might be the last one? Well, all right. I'll be on my way. I gotta go and make sure Johnny's okay. Tune in next week to see if we have another episode of Color Commentary here at the same time and on the same great channel. Down, pattern, clapping, doing, wave went down.